the main landing gear doors can be opened on the ground for servicing or inspection purposes. Precautions have to be taken before the doors are opened. Ground safeties and wheel chocks in place. Down lock safety pin in. In the cockpit, put warning notices on the free fall handle and on the landing gear control lever. Make sure that the green hydraulic system is depressurized. Outside again, make certain that the door travel ranges are clear. Stand forward of the door. Open the blue hydraulic bay servicing panel for the left-hand side door or the yellow hydraulic bay servicing panel for the right-hand side door. Disengage the safety pin. Press the button at the end of the handle. Rotate the handle to the open position. The door opens by gravity. Safety it when fully opened. Caution. A safety sleeve must be fitted on the door actuator piston rod immediately after it has been opened on the ground and before working in the gear well. After servicing, the door can be closed. Here are the precautions that have to be taken. In the cockpit, landing gear control lever down with the warning notice in position. Landing gear free fall crank handle in the normal position folded and a warning notice in position. Green hydraulic system depressurized. On the ground, make certain that the ground door opening control handle is locked in the open position. Remove the safety sleeve from the actuator. Make certain that the door travel ranges are clear. In the cockpit, make sure that external power is on. Pressurize the green hydraulic system. Check the pressure on the ECAM page. On the ground, reposition the ground door opening control handle in the closed position and put the safety pin back in position. Close the access panel. In the cockpit, check that doors are up and locked on the wheel ECAM page. Depressurize the hydraulic systems and remove the warning notices.